Today, I'm gonna show you how I'm going to transform part of Layla Jane's room into a cozy reading nook. Yeah, these twinkle stars are really cool. Like, eight different settings on them. Looks cute, oh, look at that. Layla Jane's room now. Kind of a disaster. Look at that. We don't even have a bedspread that fits her actual bed. <laughs> Eventually, I will be doing a vlog completely redoing her room, but I'm not quite there yet because I don't know exactly what I want to do to her room. But I do know I want to transform this whole space over here into a reading nook for her. Something super cozy, easy, DIY. And I think that'll just really encourage more reading. And reading is so important to every child's development. And I just really want to encourage that and create a fun, cozy space for her where she can read and relax. So I think the first thing I need to do is get rid of some of these instruments we have in here. She has so many instruments and so many toys and we just kind of threw everything in her room when we first moved here. And I'm learning it's just taking up too much space and it's something that she doesn't use all the time. So I'm gonna move these out of the room so that we have more space for our reading area. Okay, I got this corner cleared up. I might have to end up moving the ballet bar too because I'm not sure where I wanna have her bookshelf. It might end up being over there, so that might all get switched around once I start figuring all this out. First thing I'm gonna do is hang one of those bed canopies from the ceiling over here, and I think that'll really define the space of where her reading nook is. Again, normally these are for over beds, but you can use them wherever you want, really. Dumping all my stuff out. You wanna dump it all out for me? Thank you. So Layla, well this is the canopy. I just bought a plain white one. I actually got the extra large size. I'll put a link in the description down below to everything I bought for this. Like I said, I just got this off Amazon. This canopy is super affordable and I got the extra large size and I just got white so that it would kind of match any accessories I add to it. Layla, these are light up stars that we can drape from it. Yeah, it's gonna be so cool. And it, I guess it did come with these too, but these don't light up. But those are kind of cute that we can also hang from it. But we're gonna have daddy do this, right? I'm perfectly capable of hanging this myself, but I just don't want to. And this is this sounds like something daddy probably wants to do. But I can help and get out the directions. They're not that hard, but they're just not that detailed either. Well, it's not really a hula hoop. That's part of the ca bed canopy. It's gonna hang from the ceiling. These directions are really bad, but I just want to read one line that we just came to. <laughs> We're almost done. So now what they want me to do is adjust the canopy as prefer as you are. <laughs> you are scramble that, make a sentence out of it. Sometimes you just gotta laugh at these directions. Just hope you did the best, right? Looks cute. Now it does have some wrinkles. I'm sure those will fall out over time. Okay, so now we gotta move on to the next step. I bought some of these star lights. They're just battery operated. I thought I could drape them over it just to add a little decor. Ooh, what are we saying? So cool. Twinkle, twinkle, twinkle star. <laughs> How I wonder what you are. Yeah, these twinkle stars are really cool. Like eight different settings on them. They didn't come with the canopy, so I'll put another link to these um, star lights that we got too down in the description. Looks cute. Oh, look at that. I actually wanted to get like one of those oversized pillows for kids or a huge beanbag chair, but they were so expensive. And then I happened to find this dog bed that was on sale. It was super affordable, so I thought it'd be perfect and it's super comfy, but I didn't really like the color that was on it. And so I went and bought just a blanket, like a furry blanket, super affordable, and I'm gonna put that over it to kind of mask the ugly gray color. Hey, we're not done yet. Say, Daddy, get out of there. Daddy, this isn't your spot. Is this just gonna be where you nap now? Mm -hmm. 
This is supposed to be our reading area, but that's okay. The lights actually come with a remote, so we can program it with this. Brian, you're really getting into this decorating. It has to be so much. And now he's putting on these. This actually, these came with the canopy, just the paper stars. Now this is gonna be our book reading area. So I wanna make sure her bookshelf and all of her books are nearby. But again, you can use this for whatever you want. It could just be a fun little space for your kids. Maybe have a few quiet toys near there. Whatever you want. I'm gonna get you situated. Oh, you're gonna get us situated? Okay. You are so smart. Seriously, okay, I've never heard you, you come get us situated. Get your blankets on. Oh, okay, we'll get a blanket on. Well, we weren't quite done, but I guess we'll just take a break mm -hmm. now. She's kind of bossy, isn't she? Kind of. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <gasps> she wants to stop talking. Okay, well, Layla Jane is letting us stop napping now, so I'm gonna kind of fix up this a little bit more, kind of how I envisioned it before she decided to just plop down on it. And then we gotta go and pick out some fun pillows for it because we gotta make this super cozy and comfy. So we gotta go buy some fun pillows and then I wanna go do a trip to the library and pick out some new fun books for her. There, now it looks like, like a super colorful, cozy, big pillow, not a dog bed. <laughs> That's looking much better. We are at a TJ Maxx slash home goods, so pretty much heaven right now. And I think I might be able to find some cute pillows in here. See, I think it'd be cute to get some in different shapes, so like maybe like a oh, circle one. one. You like that one? Oh, and this one's so fluffy. I think we gotta do this one. Look, it's a big heart. Should we get the heart one too? Uh -huh. Oh, and we can never pass a Minions without stopping. And of course, look at this. This is the line to pay. And they put all of this stuff in here. Oh, so tempting, especially for this little girl. All right, we got what we needed. Let's put yours up. Oh, you wanna put it up? Okay, you put it up. Amazingly, we're getting out of here and I only bought one thing not on my list. It was one of those chalkboards that you say is their first day of school and like what their favorite thing is at the time because she starts school next month, so I figured I better get that. We're at the library. We are gonna get some books right now and Layla Jane thinks always now the routine is we have to go to the computer first because that's what I always do. I go and try to look for fun books for her. So she likes to act like she's looking on the computer too. Oh wow, rectangles around town. That looks like a good one. Cool. About shapes? Mm -hmm. Let's take that one. Do you wanna put it on the table? We'll go look for some more. We love coming to the library. It's so much fun here, it's so cute. And normally they have toys set out and story time and hopefully they'll be bringing that back soon. But we come here probably once a week and we just get books and we read some here, we take some home, and we just love it. Now Layla, you usually love all the Pinkalicious books. Look at that, that's a Pinkalicious Halloween. What else is there? Pinkalicious Crazy Hair Day. Yes, I want you like that one? Can we go put Oh, these well, let's see if there's some more. We don't need to put every one away. Oh, there's an Easter one. What are all these big ones? Oh, Layla, look. Silverlicious. Oh, I didn't know they had a Silverlicious. Goldalicious, we've read. If you never read Pinkalicious, they have a, it's like a whole series, and they have Aqualicious, Purplelicious, tons of different ones, and Layla loves them. For some reason, they are just one of her favorites, so we always end up getting a bunch of these. Goodness, so you've been collecting a few over here. So let's see, we have one, two, three. There's a Tooth Fairy one. I want this one. I want that one and this one. And this one? Okay. Love it. You get all these books free and it's just so much fun. A great way to kill time too and just instilling that love of reading too in your kids. Your pillows look so cute there. Layla, should we go read one of your books? Do you like your reading nook? Is it pretty? What's the best part of this reading nook? Uh, the lights. I think the lights are the best too. We're gonna read lots of lots and lots of books here, aren't we? All right, thanks everyone for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram. Bye everyone.